Descriptive Statistics, Generating and Presenting Them. So descriptive, descript, descriptive, that's harder to say than you would think. Descriptive statistics give the reader an overview of the data. And this overview includes the number of observations, the mean, or some, it's also called the average value of each measure, and the standard deviation. The mean is the sum of all values divided by the number of observations. You're probably familiar with that. This is what it looks like in mathematical notation. This E here, this big E, it's an epsilon, a Greek letter, that's a summation sign. And this I denotes, that's the subscript for each, say we're doing countries, this would be each country, so is, a, is an I. So you line them all up and you say, okay, I'm going to do it from 1 to big N. Big N is the number of observations. All right. So what you're doing is you're summing up each country's measure. Let's say you're doing infant mortality. So you would sum up the infant mortality of all of the countries, and you divide by the number of countries, and you'll get the average. Okay, and this bar is standard. Often uh, economists will refer to the average by putting a bar over it. So that's the mean. You may be a little less familiar with the standard deviation, and that's basically a measure of the average distance or deviation from the mean. And it looks like this. So again, we have a summation. And what we're summing is the, the, the difference between the value for the country, for each country, and the average. And then we square it, so that way, whether it's above or below the mean, and you have a positive or a negative, you're going to end up with a positive value. And then, so you can see that this is the, this is going to be the sum of the differences, and then you divide by the n minus 1. So again, you're getting like an average measure, and because you've squared it, you then take the square root. So that's what the standard deviation is. So one way to think about the standard deviation is to look at a normal distribution, which looks like this. That's the bell-shaped curve. So this is the mean, and then you've got observations going on either side. Um, and here's one sigma. That's the one standard deviation. So you can see that one standard deviation above and one standard deviation below, that's 68.2% of all the observations. So more than half, a big chunk of them, like two-thirds, fall within um, one standard deviation of the mean. Now, um, how else can I help you understand standard deviation? Here's two uh, graphs, or two figures. Figure 1 shows the age at matriculation for freshmen entering UNM between fall 1994 and 1999. Yes, this is from that old project. Um, so it's the age that people came into UNM over that time period. The mean is 18.5, and the standard deviation is 0.5. You can see here, this is number of students and this is the age, that most of the students are clustered right around 18. They've just graduated from high school and they're coming to college. And then we've got some very precocious people here. Um, and then we've got some older students as well. Okay, so you can see that the standard deviation is 0.5. Is that big or small? Well, relative to the mean, that's pretty small. So it's this tight distribution here. Let's look at figure two from the same data set. This is the first semester GPA for freshmen entering fall during that period. The mean is 2.6 and the standard deviation is 1. So you got a big spread here um, of students in their first semester at, at UNM. And as you would expect, well, the standard deviation is 1. It's double this standard deviation um, for a range that's actually much well, the range is big too. So, um, but anyway, you can visually see small standard deviation, large standard deviation relative to each other. Um, some people don't do too well. Um, okay, so, so how do you get descriptive statistics in Excel? You're going to do this in lab. And let me go to... Uh, the internet and show you something. Okay, so this is a tutorial that I found. Um, 
When you click on the Data tab, there should be a Data Analysis tool. And if it's not there, you need to do something else. And I just want you to be aware of this because I'm afraid that it won't be there. Um, okay, so what you do is you go to File, you go to Options, and then you go to Add-ins, and there's this Analysis Tool Pack. This thing has to say Excel Add-ins. You click on Go, and then it comes to this screen. You click Analysis Tool Pack, and you say OK, and right away it appears. Um, so that's pretty easy to get to it. And then um, once you click on um, Data Analysis, you'll be able to choose here Descriptive Statistics. So let me show you that here. Descriptive Statistics. So, all right. Um, and then this is a, a, a window that you've probably seen before where you highlight the cells that you want. The, so you do all your columns, um, all of your variables. You tell it's in, it's in column, and then you tell it where you want to see it, and you click Summary Statistics, and they show up.